So this island is called Wild Horse Island because apparently there are five wild horses on the island. We've only been hiking for like five minutes. Yeah, literally five minutes and we've stumbled upon the five wild horses. Good morning from the beaches here in Whitefish, Montana. So we're here in Whitefish for two days um, and we're just gonna kind of explore around the town. There's a lot of various outdoor activities to do here in Whitefish and in Kalispell, which we'll be going to tomorrow. But one of the main things that people do when they come to Whitefish is actually go to Glacier National Park, which is a very famous national park over that way. So just over those mountains about 30 minutes or so but we're not going to do that this trip because you know what everyone goes to glacier i thought let's explore some of the towns that you would stay in if you were visiting glacier instead you know we're also not that far from canada and our home which is just over those mountains on that other side of the lake lake this is the lake here is the town of whitefish there's the border there's canada and over here is Glacier National Park with all the mountains, Rocky Mountains, all along there that go like up here through Canada. There we go. All right guys, we have made it to downtown Whitefish and it is adorable. There are a couple main streets that are so cute. They are full of like shops and arts and crafts and souvenirs and galleries and clothing, just in case you like forgot a jacket or something. <laughs> and ooh, that smells really good. So I don't know if you guys know this, I am a huge fan of mint chocolate chip ice creams. They are delicious. I don't know what it is. I'm not like a big mint person, but when it's in ice cream form with chocolate, it's delicious. So this is a coconut mint or coconut based mint chocolate chip ice cream. And it's delicious. And it kind of matches my outfit. So why not? If you guys are like me and you like it, let me know in the comments. I think that means it's noon. Well, I've got myself some very lovely smelling bath products. Some camels, some soaps. Ahi tuna bowl and bowl full of veggies. So now that we have our beers and we have our food, let me tell you where we are eating. So. This is the Bonsai Brewing Project. It is a public house, a beer garden, and a brewery. So they brew their own beers, and we got ourselves a couple of different ales. Mine's a more citrusy one. Yours is, I think, just a regular ale. Just carrots, cauliflower, some beer battered beets. We got beans, got some coleslaw. Ah! There's a bee. I think it's a fly. And then Matt got an ahi tuna bowl on top of rice. We got some greens and a sriracha mayo. Mm -hmm. Beets are really yummy. We're back at the hotel, guys. All right, so we made a quick pit stop to get some groceries at the supermarket because we have a long day tomorrow and we need to pack all of our food. So our lunch, water, and snacks. Let's uh, put away. <laughs> it doesn't need to be refrigerated, so it's fine. So this is the best Western Rocky Mountain Lodge. It is exactly how I pictured a cute, like Rocky Mountain Lodge to look like. It's the perfect home base for all of our outdoor activities. I mean, look at all of this couch space. You can sit here, you can sit over here. There is the king size bed. So when you're finished with your outdoor activities, you can have a luxurious sprawled out <laughs> sleep. And there's photos up on the walls of the surrounding natural landscapes. 
Plus, we got a fireplace to warm ourselves up with if it gets cold or if we're here in the winter time because there's a lot of other winter activities that you can do in Whitefish because they have their own ski hill and there's also things that you can do up a glacier like snowshoeing. But that's kind of it for us today. We're going to chillax here and we'll see you bright and early for our adventures day tomorrow. Big breakfast time. We gotta fill up because we got a lot of canoeing ahead of us this morning. Plus about an hour drive till we get to the canoe. So I'm gonna dig in and uh, we'll catch you guys on the road. All right, so we are on the road now and headed toward the boat launch at Flathead Lake. It's about an hour drive, so that's one of the reasons why we ended up renting a car because it just kind of gives us the freedom to go there super early in the morning, like we are. Also, it's like a mini road trip. Speaking of road trips, did you know that if you guys are a AAA member, you can get up to 15% hotel discounts at participating Best Westerns? And if you're a Best Western Rewards member, your AAA membership will automatically upgrade you to gold status plus your points never expire which is just another great reason to join best western rewards <laughs> we have canoe success so uh, this is our vessel our canoe that's going to be taking us out to Wild Horse Island, that is our destination. So welcome to Flathead Lake. It is absolutely gorgeous out today. Like we could not have picked a more perfect day. It is so clear and calm. It hasn't been too long. We've been going for 30 minutes. I think we're halfway. I don't know. Either way, we've been going for 30 minutes. I don't think we're halfway. Okay, we're not halfway, but you know. All right, we have arrived at Wild Horse Island and it took us about an hour and 40 minutes to get here. It was actually quite the, the canoe. It got a little bit choppier out on the water, but now it's, well, in this bay, it's nice and calm. But this is Driftwood Point. It is kind of where we're anchoring off our boat and uh, we're gonna start hiking. So this island is called Wild Horse Island because apparently there are five wild horses on the island and there just so happens to be five wild horses right behind us. This is kind of crazy. I, I, I'm i having a hard time believing there's only five wild horses because- We've only been hiking for like five minutes. Yeah, literally five minutes. And we've stumbled upon the five wild horses, which are right over there. We're gonna stay back here though, cause we don't, we can't, well, you're not allowed to get close to- 100 feet, not allowed to get within 100 feet, 100 feet. of any wild animals. And they are wild animals. Like they're not tame horses. They'll mm. bite you, kick you. This is 100% the reason why zoom lenses are perfect for wildlife because you could still get cool like photos of the animals and you don't have to disturb them at all. So this island's kind of famous for wildlife viewing since there's a lot of different wildlife here. There is various types of birds, eagles, mule deer, which we've seen, the five wild horses, which we've also seen, but a ton of big horn sheep, the biggest of big horn sheep, which we have not seen any of yet. But they're apparently supposed to be everywhere. We just stumbled upon a, a, a what would you call it, a flock? Would you call it a flock? And originally we thought they were like the deer that we saw earlier, but they might actually be the female sheep, just all female sheep. We can't really tell because we're still a bit too far away. All right, well, we'll keep going. And uh... <laughs>
we've made it to pretty much the top of the mountain. Over there is kind of technically more of the top, but I'm liking this viewpoint much better because we can see a whole lot of Flathead Lake. Not all of it, because Flathead Lake is actually quite large. It is the largest freshwater lake west of Minnesota. And this is the largest island at 2,160 acres in a freshwater lake west of Minnesota. But we are gonna enjoy our viewpoint and have ourselves a little picnic. So we packed, <laughs> I think far too much food. Um, we have a lot of food, you know. Better safe than sorry. We got, we got granola bars, cliff bars. I got my hummus, peanut butter for sandwiches. We got vegan jerkies, uh, apple pie. That's for me. <laughs> but uh, we are gonna enjoy a good portion of that here at our lunch stop. So yeah. So what do you want first? <laughs> Now, we're at the top of the island. Now, we are successfully... It's definitely the top. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely the top. And there's all the rest of the island. It's a big island. It is. It is quite large. All the way down there. Yeah. And then canoe all the way to the end of that inlet. Yeah. A so little bay. We, we got a ways to go still. Do the purpose now. All right, we are back in the canoe, which means we have another hour and a half of canoeing left to go. But uh, it was a lot of fun, and I predict we're gonna be very, very sore tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Let us know down below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye.